548, welcome back to the Valley today this Tuesday morning. It is certainly the time of year for cold, flu, and stomach bugs, but many parents often wonder, when is it time to call the pediatrician? In this morning's Healthier Me, Marley Hall has more on the symptoms parents should not ignore. What comes after 15? The Paredes family has battled the stomach virus twice in three months. But nine-month-old Brandon and eight-year-old Marissa really couldn't hold anything down. She's a type 1 diabetic, so it's very important for her to be able to eat or drink something every two to three hours. He didn't even have any tears when he was crying, and he didn't have any wet diapers for almost 12 hours. Their mother, Karen, knew it was time to call the doctor. What we worry about is dehydration. Both Marissa and Brandon needed IV fluids. Fever is another concern for parents. Dr. Robert Adler says elevated temperatures mean the body is fighting infection, but watch for something more serious. If the fever is persistent and high and the child is really sort of um, tired, pooped out, and just unable to do the things they usually does. Fever with intense headache and stiff neck could be a sign of meningitis. Rashes aren't usually a concern unless it covers the entire body. Red or purple spots that don't change when you press them can be a sign of sepsis. Dr. Adler says parents should never hesitate to pick up the phone. Rather than have the anxiety, call the pediatrician, talk to them, see if this is something they need to be seen for right away or not. If you know your child, you know this is not like them, something's wrong. Karen is a nurse, but says even parents without medical training should trust their instincts. Marley Hall, CBS News, Wonton, New York. Now, doctors say that a fever in a baby under two months should always be checked out by the doctor.